Hi, I'm Rob McCammon, the Vice President of Product Management here at Open Kernel Labs, and thank you for joining me for a short video to talk about the mass market smartphone opportunity. As you all know, smartphones are incredibly important in the mobile ecosystem. In fact, it's interesting how important they are given that as a percentage of units shipped last year, they're actually a relatively small part of the total. However, all analysts predict that smartphones represent the fastest growing and most important segment of the mobile market going forward. If you think about today's mobile market, we have a very large number of people using relatively inexpensive feature phones and a small percentage of people using much more expensive smartphones. With the development of new technology, including mobile virtualization, there's actually a new segment in the market that represents great opportunity for network operators and handset providers, which is the mass market smartphone. Now, the definition of a mass market smartphone is a phone that runs a smartphone operating system and therefore supports the kinds of applications and services that we currently associate with smartphones, but at a feature phone price. Because today, the main reason not everyone carries a smartphone is purely economic. If we can find a way to make the cost of a smartphone-enabled handset relatively close to the cost of a feature phone handset, then the value proposition for the customer is clear. A much more interesting and exciting experience at a relatively small increment in cost. Now, from the point of view of a network operator, this means that a much larger percentage of their customers now have access to their branded services, to content that they can download over their network. It increases the demand for data in general and for the operator's services in particular. From the point of view of a handset provider, given the benefits that the mass market smartphone offers to the network operators, this market segment is clearly an important one for each handset provider to enter with a strong product offering. Now, I already mentioned that mobile virtualization is a new technology that enables the creation of the mass market smartphone. Why is that? Well, if you look at the software architecture of a typical smartphone, it really revolves around two primary software subsystems. The first is the application processing subsystem. This is where your smartphone operating system runs, whether it's Android, Windows, Symbian, Linux, it doesn't really matter. In a feature phone, you have a baseband subsystem and little or no application support. In a smartphone, you have a rich application environment and the baseband. And in order to implement the software architecture using traditional methods, you require a relatively expensive mobile chipset that provides a separate ARM processor for each of these two subsystems. Once you introduce mobile virtualization, you can maintain this same software architecture on a chipset that provides only a single ARM processor and therefore is much less expensive to include in the mobile phone. Not only is the chipset less expensive because of the requirement for only a single ARM processor, but that category of chipsets tends to be compatible with less expensive LCDs, less expensive batteries, and other components that contribute significantly to the mobile phone cost. In fact, in an analysis which you can read in a white paper available from the Open Kernel Labs website, we show how using mobile virtualization, you can eliminate up to $46 in bill of materials cost per handset. So I encourage you to take a look at that white paper and look at the analysis and consider how it applies to your particular cases. Now when it comes to mobile virtualization, the ability to reduce bill of materials cost and create these new mass market smartphones is really only one of the important features. The other important features of virtualization as a component of mobile phone design is the abstraction and flexibility that it provides. By allowing you to decouple the software architecture in terms of the number of subsystems that you compose your software from, from the number of physical processors underneath, you gain the flexibility to run the same software architecture on multiple different chipsets with different number of cores to offer multiple products at different price performance points. You gain the flexibility from the software point of view to add a third or fourth software subsystem without any impact on the underlying hardware requirements. So you can take your mass market smartphone and you can add another virtual machine on the same hardware 
that provides a second instance of the application operating system dedicated to a user's work use of their mobile device, for example, and kept separate and isolated from the environment in which they accomplish their personal use of their mobile phone. So it's about more than just bill of materials cost savings, although that is really the critical benefit that enables this whole new market segment, the mass market smartphone. Now at Open Kernel Labs, we're experienced with this kind of architecture and product. In fact, Open Kernel Labs software was essential to the development of this phone, the Motorola Evoque, which was the world's first virtualized mobile phone. Of course, we didn't stop here. We're active today working with a number of customers to develop new and improved implementations of the mass market smartphone. And when you think about how you are going to create a mass market smartphone for your customers with the lowest risk, in the least amount of time, and at the lowest cost, one of the things that you should look for is a partner like Open Kernel Labs that has extensive experience providing software for mobile phones and providing virtualization solutions specifically for the mass market smartphone use case. In addition to working with a partner that has the right experience, how that partner works with you is also very important. And we've learned from our success working with customers that a collaborative approach is really essential. We have a model where we work with our customer from design through delivery every step of the way, combining our expertise in mobile virtualization with their expertise in other handset technologies to get the best possible result. And the third key to success, of course, is having the right technology. We know our technology is right, ready, and able because Open Kernel Lab software has already been used in 500 million commercially shipped mobile phones. So the proof is in the shipments that have already been achieved that we know how to provide software that meets the requirements of high volume commercial mobile phone product offerings. Now if you'd like more information on the mass market smartphone opportunity and the Open Kernel Lab solution, I'd encourage you to contact us or to read a white paper available on our website. Thank you.